All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Wii Knife uh, Yucha here with me for a review. Uh, but hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. So let's check out the size of this guy before jumping into the look, the sound, and the feel, because this is a 8.6 inch long overall knife with a 3. Point, uh, I would say five cutting edge but kind of like close to four inch long uh, blade and the handle is going to be 4.6 uh, overall uh, inches of length and let's see how this does compare with the Ontario Red number two and Ontario Red number one for example look at that uh, it's kind of like a little bit smaller than the one and of course bigger than the two but not by much um, this is uh, Another big boy, this is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, but it's smaller than this, and Spyderco Para 3. Look at that. It's pretty clear, right? Also, we are gonna use these two guys over here, beautiful Chris Reeve knives, website, large, regular, Sebenza, and where is it? Here. Same thing, but in a smaller package, Chris Reeve knives, small regular Sebenza website look at that so this guy is pretty bigger than the large Sebenza and let's see how it does compare to the up against the TRM Atom and the TRM Neutron which is here oops here uh, look at that it's a big boy guys uh, it's uh, undeniable uh, let me see what uh, can i show you here pretty cool conic knives arius uh, generation 4 style 55 uh, and uh, since this is a liner lock i'm gonna show you another liner lock here this is the shirogorov f3 and s and uh, we have uh, where is it here Shirogorov uh, Neon Zero, just to give you an option, a smaller option by Shirogorov. Uh, to show you another liner lock with some carbon fiber going on, I can show you the Assassin Knives Argo, or I can show you this guy, which is a frame lock, but also some carbon fiber going on. This is the Hinder Knives XM18 3.5 inch, and uh, what else? Uh, look at this. Steve Skiff, accomplice in the house. And I'm gonna show you another big boy, something bigger than that, because otherwise, what is that? Uh, Custom Knife Factory, of course, uh, Canadian designer Peter Rassenti, Snafu 2.0. And since we have a Custom Knife Factory, I'm gonna show you a front flipper again from Custom Knife Factory. This is Philippe Georget Design 520. Okay, what uh, do you guys wanna see? A couple small ones, sure. Rogers Design OEM, uh, Bestec Made, and uh, yeah, this guy maybe. Yeah, this is CVV uh, McKenna with a black Damascus blade, and uh, also like this guy, we have Diskin IDF, um, also Integral Titanium. And just because it's so cool, guys, I need to show you this guy. Look at that small Sebenza Chris Reeve knife, Sebenza 21, sorry, Chris Reeve knives. Spirograph Damascus, I think you've got the idea of the size of this one. This is a very, very interesting one. Uh, it's the uh, Wii Knives Yuchi. It's a titanium uh, liner lock with some carbon fiber scales, nicely rounded off, uh, 3D milled. I appreciate that. Uh, very much. Uh, you've got uh, uh, titanium uh, bronze gold anodized liners matching uh, titanium 3D milled uh, pocket clip with some logo going on over here. Uh, there is no uh, internal milling, no skeletonization inside of these liners. You've got uh, a titanium backspacer with the lanyard hole integrated, all milled out nicely. You've got some nice chamfering going on in and out, so it's gonna be pretty feeling pretty smooth in the hands. Uh, you have, uh, of course, nice finger groove, really, really cool for ergos. You have um, a lock uh, a release, like cutout release, kinda, because uh, it, this is just a little bit recessed, so it's showing this jimped side only, but it's functional. 
you've got also a lock face insert which is screwed in from the inside you can see the screw from over here and there's a cutout right inside the uh, carbon fiber here to allocate the screw which is screwed in from the inside so it gives a nice clean look to this but this is titanium this is steel so you need something uh, like steel to be up against the steel to avoid lock stick uh, of course you've got uh, your uh, internal uh, cutout relief for the liner lock over here super easy to disassemble guys you've got a non-spinning pivot uh, this V pivot is keyed in onto the carbon fiber there's a cutout and this just goes in and just gonna stay there uh, on the other side you're gonna need a T10 uh, I believe uh, Torx bit screw to disassemble this one um, or maybe it's a T8, I don't remember, sorry. And you got a nice pivot collar, uh, also gold anodized uh, going on over here. Uh, jimping is present on the flipper tab, is on the blade, is on the lock bar, and is on the uh, back spacer. So yeah, there's some pretty nice jimping going on um, over here. Super easy disassemble, I, I was saying, you can check my video about that. Uh, it's, uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, the clip, uh, you're gonna need to remove the clip, I believe, if I'm uh, not uh, mistaken, and it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Nice uh, tension on the clip, uh, nicely designed, it's gonna be easily in and out uh, from your pocket, and in your pocket, uh, it's uh, not reversible, it's gonna stay there, and it's gonna be tip-up carry only, so it's just like that. Uh, the blade is uh, S35 yen, which is written somewhere here, nice place to write uh, uh, the uh, steel employed rather than here uh, this is just uh, my buddy Guillaume who sent this in for a review which uh, uh, engraved this guy over here but it's it usually doesn't come like of course with this um, writ, uh, writing over here so you've got um, uh, your S35 VN harpoon style blade nice jimping going on nice crowning on the spine of the blade this is really really smooth and you got a swedge on the harpoon uh, tip over here up to the tip and you get a hundred percent belly in this blade a compound grind over here you see this uh, grinding line really really nicely done this is cool the plunge grind nice and sinuous it's I like the curve and I like that is continuing with the uh, flipper tab design you've got a uh, uh, finger choil as well as a sharpening choil and uh, to re reveal how thin behind the edge this blade is I mean stock thickness is pretty decently thin and you've got a pretty thin behind the edge blade for sure uh, of course chamfering going on uh, nice hole chamfered uh, they, they took uh, some good care uh, when designing and uh, making this uh, blade but I'm not really sold on the blade honestly it's not my favorite shape um, the action is is pretty good uh the sound this guy makes it's like this so it's nothing uh, unique it's not uh something very distinctive but it's pleasant it's nice and robust sound this is a little bit on the light side but this is a nice clank it it feels uh, it translates into some robust uh, and solid sound when you open when you close it also it's a beautiful thud better than the opening sound I like this closing sound better than the this one and it's just a matter of preference a matter of taste but uh, uh, anyways uh, this guy in the pocket is gonna weigh in at 4.3 ounces and uh, something that is very very good is the ergos I mean it's really nicely done I like this uh, uh, finger groove over here there's no hot spots going on no sharp edges the right amount of jimping the grip is uh, is feeling good in the hand I have to say if you do a reverse grip it's gonna feel good there's a little bit of uh, you see like this angle over here it's going to interfere a little bit with my index finger but I appreciate the length of the handle it's a full-size knife of course and it's gonna feel pretty good in the hand you can actually choke it up and use this um, uh, crown spine to hold it really really nicely I, I, I like this one guys it's um, it's very interesting grip too bad I'm not a fan of this uh, of this blade shape the um, knife feels solid in the hand because this backspacer is giving a lot of rigidity I don't see any flex I don't 
feel any rattling on the inside fit and finish is good it's nicely done um, i don't see any gaps uh, i don't feel any blade play it feels solid the clip retention is very very good uh, overall and deployment speed guys this is a fast one yeah absolutely i mean it is no finger sore there's the right amount of jimping right amount of chamfering beautiful for the light switch if you do a push button you can do it but uh, long term is gonna hurt doing this so i prefer just doing the light switch so not really much finger sore if you stick with this movement uh, or rather than this kind of deployment mechanism of course this guy's running on bearings what do you think this is super smooth and nice action detent strength is on the medium light side when you deploy the blade you feel a little bit of kickback actually because the blade is uh, quite thick and um, it's long so you're gonna have this effect of dragging the handle away from your hand um, if you try to access and touch the uh, the tip of the blade it's not gonna happen because you have this backspacer which wraps around the heel of the handle to protect and cover the tip of the blade so really really cool no rattling when shaken uh, lock release is surprisingly easy to access i was uh, I was afraid honestly but the jimping is doing a great work because not mu not much area is exposed to uh, be grabbed so no lock stick because of the lock stick uh, lock face insert there's no detent ball ramp so you're gonna feel a little bit of a hard step but as soon as you disengage the lock bar you've got uh, a pretty cool smooth you got a free fall action and a nice guillotine effect going on over here so overall very very good action so i mean the handle looks good the blade not so much to me at least it's not my taste um but i like the ergos i i, I like the closing sound i like the action and uh, overall it's nicely built so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned